This is the tail rotor of the Roban EC135. We are unable to fine-tune the control of the tail rotor, and one of the kits, which Roban itself has prepared, to improve the behavior of the tail rotor, is to change the tail rotor blades first, so that instead of being flat convex profile, how it looks here, let's change them with symmetrical profile blades. Here it is flat, here it is curved, and here we can appreciate the difference in profiles. This is the original, and as we see, it is flat convex, and the one we are going to put, which is this, is completely symmetrical, and thus, the blade will have less support, and with that, the movement will be less critical of the blade. This is the whole travel, which I have marked here with this point. And this point is the whole movement, which comes standard with the tail rotor. This screw stops with this washer. If we replace this screw, which has a very large head, with another screw that has a countersunk head, and with that, we will gain practically the entire width of the screw head to increase the pitch of the blade. And that's what we're going to do. Replace these three screws here, with the three countersunk screws. Let's hold it with the clamp as you see, and that will allow us to have a much better collective pitch. We are going to replace them and we will see how it looks. We will put a little bit of liquid screws. A slight drop and we will screw it. What we are also going to do, is we'll replace these washers, which come standard, with others of a smaller diameter, so that, the effect of countersunk screws is complete. This is the new washer, which has a smaller outside diameter than the one that comes standard, and thus, achieve the maximum possible increase, in the pitch of the tail rotor. Of course, to these screws. We will also put a little bit of liquid fixing screws, so that the screw does not loosen. We have won this plus, which is almost a millimeter or so of collective pitch of the tail rotor blade. And this, if that has to be enough, to improve the behavior of the tail rotor. Do not forget that, in addition to changing the countersunk screw, you will have to change the washers of these screws here, because if not, the previous washers would trip over the ring stop. This is how the tail rotor is without the blades. Now, we will proceed to install the asymmetric blades. One of the things that we are going to see is, if the change of the tail rotor blades, apart from having changed the Allen screws, by the countersunk screws, and that we have already verified, that increase the pitch, is to see, what effect does the change of some blades for others have on its own because we have observed the following, these old blades have the support, a little twisted and and I have been curious to see, what angle was earned, simply by the change of the blades. To do this, and I have made this gadget that you are going to see here. Here I have the old blades and this is the flat convex profile. I put the ruler, so that it is in line with this bar. 
and with the rope of the bladel, and I see where it marks the ruler. I make a small rotation of the tail rotor, until I have the new symmetrical blade up, and I do the same operation again. I put the ruler on the rope of the new blade, which is this one here. This is the blade, and we see that the rule points to this point here. That is, we have gained this angle. So now, we have more collective pitch. I have taken an angle meter, and we verify that we gain approximately 10 degrees, as we see here. That is, only by the change the blades from flat convex to asymmetric to, and also, by change the support of the blade, we already win at the maximum point, neither more nor less than 10 degrees in the collective of the entire tail rotor. Which, in addition to that gained by the change of screws, we can confirm that we increase the total travel of the collective pitch of the tail rotor blades of the EC135 model neither more nor less at about 20 degrees, which means that we will have a greater margin of control in order to compensate for the torque of this magnificent helicopter.